Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, what I got here is a review of my new bass that I bought from musiciansfriend.com. As you can see from the case, it's an Epiphone. This case is actually way nicer than I thought it would be. When I open it up, you're going to find that it's molded. So I'm going to open it up right now and we'll see what we got inside. And inside we have the Epiphone Thunderbird Pro 4 string in vintage sunburst and this bass comes standard with dual Epiphone T-Pro bass humbuckers which are a lot nicer than the humbuckers on my limited edition Epiphone Custom Shop Thunderbird. Uh, this bass does have active electronics and the control layout is the master volume with the blend next to that, uh, the low EQ below the blend and the high EQ next to that. Uh, the wings of this bass are mahogany as are most Thunderbirds and the neck is a seven piece maple walnut neck through construction and the sound that comes out of this bass is so warm and full of rich tone I swear it sounds just like a piano. It has a road, rosewood fingerboard with a radius of 12 inches, 20 medium jumbo frets with a scale length of 34 inches and the nut width is 1.50 inches. All the hardware is black, the tuners are die cast and it has a flush mounted fully adjustable bridge. Uh, this base has an absolutely beautiful finish and the color looks so awesome. It's much nicer than the ones I saw at my local shop. They seem to be lighter around the edges and this one to me just looks more retro. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand it up here and we're going to take a look at the back side. So let me adjust the camera. Take the strap out too. What I did do when I bought this base, I bought a set of uh, Dunlop dual design strap locks just to make sure I don't drop it. So what we're gonna do, there's a quick view of the front. I'll just let you guys see that here, I can pan up. It's a really beautiful color on this guitar. I just, I can't get over how nice it looks. So we'll just pan right up to the top so you can get a look at the neck. It's got, you know, 20 medium jumbo frets as I said. Really, really nice. So we're gonna zoom out here and I'm gonna Flip it around so we can have a look at the back. And there we go. The back of the base. You can notice that uh, the detail in the neck, the craftsmanship on this guitar is absolutely unbelievable. As I said, it's a seven piece maple walnut neck through construction. And the funny thing is, uh, I ordered this from musiciansfriend.com, and when I got the bass, the first one they sent me was cracked from the nut all the way down to the fourth fret. And the funny thing was that the strap position was on the top wing, which I'm pointing at here, but as you can see, the replacement they sent me, it is actually on the back of the neck where it should be. And I'm just going to walk up to show you here that there, there are no holes in this top wing. I was surprised myself when they sent it because as I said the first one it was there and then they sent me the replacement and it's where I believe it should be. And I'm sure most of you will agree with me on that. I'm gonna zoom back out here. I was right pumped to see it on the back of the neck because I didn't want to drill a hole in it. And as we keep going down we come to the back of the guitar. Yet again the detail on this guitar is absolutely amazing. And we come down to the battery cavity, which is also a really nice feature that Epiphone has incorporated into this base. Sorry about the uh, camera here, my tripod just being a bit of a bitch. There we go, I'm going to pop this open so you guys can see how it works. It's fairly simple, you can do it with one hand, one finger, just pop straight open. There's your 9 volt, goes in and out like a charm, no problems. Really easy to use, snaps back closed. And I, I really think they did a very nice job with that. All in all, uh, I think this base, uh, for the price I paid for, it's a no brainer. It looks and sounds just as good, if not better, than its much more expensive uh, Gibson Bigger Brother. You know, so if anybody out there is thinking about picking up this bass, I would highly, highly recommend it. I own two now myself. One's a, just a regular custom shop, and then I have the Pro. The sustain on this thing is just unreal. So, 
yeah man like i said uh if anybody out there wants to buy this base i recommend it it's rate good and if anybody has any video responses they want to send to me feel free all comments are accepted positive and negative because i really don't care so hope everybody likes this uh and i hope you enjoyed